In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint your vehicle, this truck for example, right behind me, super fast, super cheap, and super easy. So stick around and see how it's done. So in this video, we are using my old Ram pickup truck. This thing looks horrible. And I'm going to give it a new super quick, super fast, super cheap paint job with some Rust-Oleum black paint. And here is the finished product. So for the project today, we're using my old Dodge Ram pickup truck. This thing looks atrocious. So we're going to give it a super easy, super cheap, super quick paint job. It's not worth a professional grade paint job and it's not even worth Mako quality. So we'll be using some Rust-Oleum and doing it in the backyard. So right here is a palm sander and some sanding discs. This is going to make all of the prep work a breeze, which is the first thing we're going to do. Sand the truck, the car, the whatever you're working on down to make it a lot more congruent to get anything that may be flaking off, sorted and taken off and get some of the rust sanded down as well. So that's what we'll be doing first, doing some prep work and then we'll lay on the spray paint. love how this hood looks right now. It's so cool. I want to spray it down with some clear coat and leave it like this. Give that patina effect, but I won't, unfortunately. But it looks a heck of a lot smoother. It feels smoother and it looks better than it did before. You can see what something like this looks like and what this fender looks like. A lot more smooth and clear compared to all of the rough edges right here and over along the back side. So I'm gonna finish up sanding the truck and then we can get on to paint. Now that you've sanded, you'll want to wipe off and clean off the surface that you'll be painting so that you have a clean slate, just like that. You can see there's old residue from after it rained, after I sanded, there's dust and particulate and all that junk on there. Even if it's not the best pro level job, you can still use a rag or something to wipe it down to make the paint job look a little bit cleaner. Next up, you'll want to mask off any surfaces like glass or windows or trim pieces that you do not want to get paint on. I would suggest using painter's tape or duct tape, or if it's a large area, use a drop cloth of some sort. I'll flash it on the screen right here. And that way you're protecting the surfaces that you do not want to get paint on. It's not easy to take off paint from a window or a windshield and you don't want it to be foggy, hazy, whatever color you're painting your vehicle. So throw down a drop cloth, tape off whatever you don't want to get paint on and then we can get to painting. the beauty now that it has paint and fender flares again this paint is not perfect the fender flares are not perfect either but for the caliber of the truck that it is it looks a heck of a lot better for as little work and time and money as it cost it was well worth the investment i would say as you can see the interior is looking mighty nice for what it is especially compared to how it did 
no complaints and for the price you just can't beat it this is going to be a great flip for myself a great restoration i mean this truck was going to sit and die or be used for parts but now it's given a new lease on life and it's going to be ready to go for many many more miles so that is about it and we can head on home through the cornfield baby <laughs>